Welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this awesome skeleton animation to show a loading animation for a list of users. If you want to see more of videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. With that said, let's get started. So I'll be working in this existing React application where I've already created my user list component in which I return a simple h1 for now. I also created a CSS file and imported it in my component. Then I imported my component in the app.jsx file. For this tutorial, I'll be working with this list of users. Don't worry about the code, you'll find it at the description of this video. Each user will have a bunch of properties like the full name, phone number, a thumbnail, etc. So let's render our users. For that, I will add a div and give it a class name of body. And I will add some basic styling. Now let's map over our users and render a div with a class name of user. This div will contain three blocks. For each block, we'll add a class name of data. In the first block, we will display our user's thumbnail. So add another div and give it a class name of image container in which we will render the image. After the image container, add another div to display the full name and profession of the user. This div will have a class name of info's container. Inside of info's container, Add two more divs with a class name of value to display the full name and profession. For the second block, we will render the same way our user's phone and we will display the email in the third block. Now let's go to our CSS file and add some styling to the user div. Now let's make the blocks take equal width, for that I will add flex1 for the class data. Now we need to work on the user info's div. Ok, let's add a gap between the image and the user info's. So add a gap of 5 pixels. Let's make our image container circular. For that apply a width and height of 50 pixels alongside of border radius of 50% and set overflow property to hidden. On the info's container div, apply flex1 so it will take the rest of available width. Let's make the full name bolder. For that, wrap it inside a b tag. Let's add also a margin between two consecutive value divs. For that, we will use the plus selector. We 
With that, our user div is done. Now let's start working on the skeleton animation. For that, create a loader component in which return the same markup used for the user div. So let's copy the HTML and get rid of the values. Make sure to add a loader class name that we're gonna use for the animation. Let's add a state that we're going to use to display the loading UI and modify the GSX as follow. If is loading is false, render the list of users. Otherwise, render the loader component. Now let's add loader animation. The animation will be applied on the divs with a class name of value. That's why we've used the same class name to display all our values. So I will add these CSS properties to describe the animation. The important property here is the animation name that we will create in a moment. To create the shimmer animation, we will use keyframes to describe the first frame and the last one of the animation. So basically here our animation will animate from a background position of minus 1200 pixels to 1200 pixels. In the loader component, our value divs will be empty. So make sure to apply a height and width so they can be visible. To display our loader component, let's initialize the is loading state to true. And I also forget to add the class name value to the image container div in the loader component. So let's add that. Here it should be background position, not background size. Now, as you can see, our animation is working. Let's add more loader components. For that, render a React fragment and add two more loaders. In real world scenarios, the skeleton animations are used to display a custom UI while we await the response from an API, for example. So let's simulate that. Let's add another state data that will contain the list of our users. And let's map over the state data, not the variable users. Now I want to create a get data function to simulate our request. This function will return a promise that will resolve after 3 seconds using the set timeout function. In our user list component, let's call the use effect hook to get the users when the component mounts. Make sure to import use effect from React if you haven't already. Then let's call get data that returns a promise. So when the promise resolves, we're gonna set data to the list of users. Okay, let's also set the is loading back to false. As you can see now, the list of users is rendered after three seconds, but during all the three seconds, nothing was displayed on the UI and it looks bad. To make it look better, Let's set the is loading to true before calling the get data function and set it back to false when our list of users is ready. 
As you can see now, our UI looks much better. And we don't feel the latency of fetching the data because we have a cool animation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.